Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how you can get shiny cloth to spawn in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet using the isolated picnic method. So, if you're going to enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. And let's get into it. So first things first, obviously, this is cloth. It's the crab, we all know what cloth looks like. And we're going to need to be in this area right here, which is the east, uh, south, east, southeast area. Uh, east province area 1, southeast area 3. It's wherever it says it. So it's right here, just past Mesagosa, before Art is on. So it's right here, we all know this area is, this little cool looking desert place. Maybe one of my favourite areas of this game. And obviously Cloth do spawn here. So, all we need to do to increase the spawn of Cloth is obviously save your game. If you are using Harbour Mystica. But for the purpose of this video, obviously I do not use Herb Mysticas because I don't sit here hunting them. Um, so all you need to do is go and make a sandwich. And I recommend the Ultra BLT. It's the same sandwich we made for um, uh, Knackley. Uh, if you also want to get um, the Shine Knackley video, uh, I have done one of them. So... You know, check the channel for that. So what we need to do is just make this sandwich and try not to mess up. I've done this twice in a row now and it's been perfect. So using this way. So it goes lettuce on the right, tomatoes on the left. But now I'm recording what you mess it up. Bacon slap in the middle. Build the tower up. Slap some cheese on the right hand side as well. And then the basil can just go on the bacon like that. And then put some on the cheese so it doesn't fall off. And that is literally it. Don't mess around with the bread because you don't want it to knock it off. And then slap the pick in the middle. And perfect. It might take you a few attempts as it did with me. It took about four or five the first time I did it. But after you get the hang of the sandwich, it's very, very simple. And as mentioned, if you are using the Salty Herb Mystica, you can use another item to get sparkling power um, free for rock. But obviously this one is uh, encounter level 2 for rock. Obviously if you have encounter level 1 for rock there's less spawns. Encounter level 2 there's decent. And encounter level 3 there's obviously a much much more uh, cloth spawning in. And that is literally it. All you need to do now is just walk around this area until you find your shiny cloths. So obviously there's not really much in this little bit but if you follow it up here and then go down here as you can see this is like kind of the hot spot. Um, four cloths. So if we go around here, just like just literally, literally do a loop of this area. As you can see, there's probably about ten to fifteen cloths that spawn. Also, naturally spawns here as well. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. You might find it naturally, but also you can also do the picnic method. So for example, none of these cloths are shiny. Bang, go into the picnic. Wait for it to thingy, and then exit the picnic. And then more cloth should spawn in, but for the purpose of this video, apparently, it doesn't want to do it. I don't know if it's got something to do with the rain. I don't actually know, but obviously more cloth do spawn in. There you go, there's one there. <laughs> but it's probably more naturally that spawn here, but obviously cloth do obviously spawn here quite a lot. With the inquiry sandwich, I think it's probably to do with the weather. Um... But uh, yeah, there you go, more spawning in. So yeah, just keep resetting your picnics and run around the circle. As you can see, you've got the entire route to get your shiny cloths. So uh, yeah, that's giving you everything for me and this video though. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new. It looks like this area here is the hotspot for the cloths. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in a bit. 